Uh, good afternoon. It's uh, Wednesday, June 17th, 2015. We're at the Paris Air Show with uh, Luis Carlos Afonso, uh, COO of Commercial Aircraft for uh, Embraer. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, Luis, so there's, there's been an argument of right-sizing an aircraft versus upsizing an aircraft, which Boeing and Airbus have been doing with their, with their customers in the marketplace, and these uh, two arguments are opposing in the marketplace. Can you share with us your view on the, uh, the new metrics that you've, uh, that you've introduced in your uh, arguments to, to customers supporting right-sizing of airplanes? Sure, absolutely, absolutely. We, we believe that uh, there are different uh, markets, uh, different uh, densities in markets, and ideally airlines should uh, select the optimized uh, size for, for, for the markets. Uh, and so, um, of course, uh, looking for uh, uh, the lowest uh, unit cost is positive. Airlines have to do that, but that's not the final objective. The, the real objective is to maximize uh, profits and return on investments. And so our position is that there are opportunities, city pairs, markets, in which with the right-sized airplanes, airlines will have higher profits and higher return on investment. And, uh, well, I can expand uh, uh, a little further, because if they use an airplane which is too big, either they will have a low load factor, or they will have to sell those, let's say, empty seats with a very low yield. So they will have to fill the airplane uh, by lowering the average yield. And uh, yes, so they can get a high load factor, but this will reduce their profits and reduce their return on mass. So in that situation, an eject uh, is a better solution. Thank you. The E-Jets have been very successful in the market, and you've got the new E-2s coming out uh, in a couple of years that promise further economic improvements. Uh, what are the factors that have made your, your family of aircraft so successful? Well, uh, well, first of all, the, the, the current family is, is successful by, uh, I believe, a combination of, uh, of factors. They are very efficient. They have the right size. So in several situations, this is the optimum airplane. Uh, in, in, in several markets. It has a cross-section that is uh, very, let's say, flexible in the sense that it's an excellent cross-section for a regional airplane, 175 for instance, but it's also an excellent uh, uh, cross-section for a mainline operations, uh, operation. Uh, passengers of our customers, mainline customers, the passengers tell us they prefer to fly on a knee jet than on a narrow body. They don't like the middle seat. In our airplane, you are either on an aisle or on a window seat. Um, so economics, uh, performance, uh, comfort, so combination of factors. On the E2, we are investing heavily, so we are not just re engine the current family. We are, of course, re engine it with uh, Pratt Whitney GTF uh, engines, but we are doing much more. We are re completely redesigning the wings, so the, the wings are completely new, uh, state of the art, bigger span, higher aspect ratio, full fly by wire system, which is a mature system for us. Uh, since we are using them, we are using this system on the Legacy 500 and KC 390. With that, we'll save uh, around 1.5% uh, fuel with the full flabber uh, wire system. Uh, new interior. So we are really, uh, as I as I like to say, we I believe we'll be offering the best of two worlds. So we we'll offer an airplane which is robust, mature, and common. To the, to the installed uh, base, and at the same time, uh, it's a modern, state-of-the-art airplane that is as efficient as any clean sheet design airplane. Okay, thank you. Uh, Embraer is already using big data and has an active health management system that you've been offering on your e-jets for some time now. Uh, this will be expanded with many more data points on the E2 as you have more electronics coming in the system, but you've already been quite successful 
Uh, can you describe uh, the impact that this has had on your customers and reducing maintenance cost and increasing uh, uh, component life? Absolutely. Well, the, the, the health uh, monitoring system uh, basically is a system that can transform a unscheduled event into a scheduled event. So it's a system that will anticipate uh, a failure uh, and before the, the failure really happens, uh, it will provide indication and, and the, the airline will avoid an interruption. So schedule reliability goes up, costs uh, go down. This is already uh, uh, working and op op operational on the E-Jets very successfully. Uh, on the E-2, as you said, we will have more sensors uh, and more onboard uh, proce processing capability so that the system will be even more uh, powerful. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It's a pleasure.